Osho 30 construction. Final exam. Question and answer. Question. The CFR parts, such as part 1926 for construction, are further broken down into together specific and detailed standards. A bullets. B pieces. C slices. D subparts. Answer. D subparts. Question. Which of the following is a type of Osho violation? A. Repeat. B. Serious. C. Willful. D. All of the above. Answer. D. All of the above. Question. What are two U.S. government agencies that are good resources for safety and health information? A. DEA and DOJ. B. FBI and CIA. C. IRS and Scottis. D. Osho and Niosh. Answer. D. Osho and Niosh. Question. What section of the OSH Act does the whistleblower program reference? I. Section 7A. B. Section 8. C. Section 11C. D. Section 21. Answer. C. Section 11C. Question. The creation of OSHA provided this important right to workers. A. The right to equal employment opportunities. B. The right to pension benefits. C. The right to privacy. D. The right to a safe and healthful workplace. Answer. D. The right to a safe and healthful workplace. Question. When you've been assigned a new job or task. Be sure to ask about the A. Additional pay and benefits B. Time it takes to drive to the nearest OSHA office C. Medical expenses that all you co-workers may have D. Written procedures and any additional training that may be required Answer D. Written procedures and any additional training that may be required Question you can request to remain anonymous when OSHA presents a complaint to your employer. A. True. B. False. Answer. A. True. Question. Where there is no specific OSHA standard, employers must comply with the OSH Acts. A. Catch all standard. B. Final notice. C. General duty clause. D. General industry standard. Answer. C. General Duty Clause. Question. What does OSHA require employers to post for three days? A. Employee of the Month Recognition. B. Grants received for studies. C. OSHA Citations and Abatement Verification Notices. D. VPP Awards. Answer. C. OSHA Citations and Abatement Verification Notices. Question. What type of OSHA inspection is conducted when immediate death or serious harm is likely? A. Complaint. B. Imminent danger. C. Programmed. D. Referral. Answer. B. Imminent danger. Question. Workers must be trained in which of the following? A. Lockout, takeout. B. Fall hazards. C. Bloodborne pathogens. D. All of the above. Answer. D. All of the above. Question. Which of the following is a way that an employee can contact OSHA? A. Email. B. In person at a local office. C. Phone. D. All of the above. Answer. D. All of the above. Question. The OSHA standards for construction and general industry are found in A. Codes 501 through 1000 B. Construction and GI registers C. Parts 1915 and 1917 D. Parts 1926 and 1910 Answer D. Parts 1926 and 1910 Question Employers covered by OSHA's standards must display an It's the Law poster. What does this poster address? A. Employee dress code. B. Hourly wages. 
C. Hours of operation. D. Safety and health information. Answer. D. Safety and health information. Question. Which of following would be best to have when consulting a medical professional about possible exposure to a harmful chemical? A. Eyewitness accounts of the exposure incident. B. Photographs of the chemical. C. Safety data sheet for the chemical. D. Sample of the chemical. Answer. C. Safety data sheet for the chemical. Question. OSHA requires that employers pay for which of the following personal protective equipment, PPE? A. Hard hats. B. Logging boots. C. Uniforms. D. Weather-related gear. Answer. A. Hard hats. Question. Among the rights related to OSHA record-keeping, workers have the right to review. All first aid treatment forms. B. All workers' compensation forms. C. Medical and exposure records for all workers. D. OSHA 300 logs and OSHA 300 A summaries. Answer. D. OSHA 300 logs and OSHA 300 A summaries. Question. What is OSHA's mission? A. To prevent injuries. B. To protect the health of America's workers. C. To save lives. D. All of the above. Answer. D. All of the above. Question. Which groups do not come under OSHA's coverage? A. Public workers who are employed by state agencies. B. Self-employed workers. C. Workers employed by construction companies. D. Both A and B. Answer. D. Both A and B. Question. Who does OSHA recommend you first bring a workplace safety or health concern to? A. OSHA. B. The local police department. C. Your employer. D. Your lawyer. Answer. C. Your employer. Question. A worker or worker represent active can fill a complaint about a safety or health hazard in the workplace. Workplace. A. True. B. False. Answer. A. True. Question. One of the main responsibilities employers have, as required by OSHA standards, is to a. Conduct energy audits. B. Notify OSHA of any workplace injury or illness. C. Provide training. D. Reduce air pollution in the environment. Answer. C. Provide training. Question. What are two U.S. government agencies that are good resources for safety and health information? A. DEA and DOJ. B. FBI and CIA. C. IRS and Scottis. D. OSHA and NIOSH. Answer. D. OSHA and NIOSH. Question. Typically, how long does an employee have to file a complaint with OSHA when the employee has been discriminated against for reporting a safety or health hazard? A. 3 days. B. 10 days. C. 30 days. D. 60 days. Answer. C. 30 days. Question. OSHA standards fall into four categories, or parts, general industry, construction, maritime, and agriculture. A. True. B. False. Answer. A. True. Question. The right of workers to be safe and healthy while on the job, without fear of punishment is spelled out in A. OSHA's standards. B. Section 11C of the OSH Act. C. State laws. D. The General Duty Clause. Answer. B. Section 11C of the OSH Act. Question. During an OSHA inspection. A. Employers determine which workers are interviewed. B. You have the right to talk to the inspector privately. C. You may not describe safety and health concerns you have to the inspector. D. Worker representatives are not permitted to accompany the inspector. 
Answer. B. You have the right to talk to the inspector privately. Question. OSHA standards appear in the Code of Federal Regulations, CFR. A. True. B. False. A. Answer. A. True. Question. Which of the following is an OSHA cooperative program? A. American National Standards Institute, A. NSI. B. Safety and Health Inspection Program, SHIP. C. U.S. Department of Labor, DOL. D. Voluntary Protection Program, VPP. Answer. D. Voluntary Protection Program, VPP. Question. An organization's training should be specific to the organization, the workforce, and the workplace hazards. A. True. B. False. Answer. A. True. Question. While safety training can change behavior, attitudes, and work habits, it will typically reduce productivity and efficiency. A. True. B. False. Answer. B. Falls. Question. Of the following? Who would be the best choice to write your organization's safety and health program? A. Cal slash OSHA representative. B. Company CEO. C. Members of the OSHA Committee on Safety and Health. D. Safety and Health Subject Matter Expert. Answer. D. Safety and Health Subject Matter Expert. Question. OSHA requires training to be provided within one year of when a safety and health program is first established. A. True. B. False. Answer. B. False. Question. IP is an acronym for A. Incident Program Plan. B. Injury and Impairment Planning Program. C. Injury and Illness Prevention Program. D. None of the above. Answer. C. Injury and Illness Prevention Program. Question. OSHA recognizes that the implementation of a safety and health program as a way of demonstrating and promoting workplace safety and health. A. Good faith by an employer. B. Avoidance of an OSHA citation. C. That money is being spent appropriately. D. None of the above. Answer. A. Good faith by an employer. Question. The order of precedence and effectiveness of hazard control is which of the following? A. Engineering controls first, PPE, administrative, work practice controls. B. Use PPE first following by administrative, work practice controls. C. Engineering controls are not required on construction sites. D. Engineering controls, administrative, work practice controls, PPE. E. None of the above. Answer. D. Engineering controls, administrative, work.